Question 2C. Give five reasons why Christians should trust God in their daily lives. Why should you trust God as a Christian in your daily life? Because number one, God is the creator. Or you can say God is the giver of life. God, number two, is the sustainer. He is the one to be worshipped. He is faithful, or rather he keeps his promises. Basically, a person who is like that is trustworthy. So they should also trust God because he is all-knowing. He is everywhere and is powerful or omnipotent. Before we go to question three, can you go round, round all of you? Simama hapo. Simama hapo kidogo. Nataka uende ya pili. Simama hapo. Nataka ukienda ya pili, usiende kabisa. Usimame hapa nyuma. Simama hapa nyuma. Kwa hivyo enda hivi kwanza usimame hapa nyuma. Niwone watu ukisimama huwa kidogo jana. Ha ha uki. Ajia. Successors fulfilled prophet Samuel's reasons against kingship in Israel. Here you are being asked, everyone who came after King David fulfilled some of, not all of them, fulfilled some of the kings that came after David, fulfilled some of the reasons against kingship in Israel. And you have to mention the king that fulfilled that. So first, you have to mention the point that you have to know the reasons against kingship, yes? 
after you 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 outline the reason for against kingship you write how it was fulfilled which king fulfilled it by doing what so number one we have forced labor solomon used forced labor in building his palace in the temple of god because remember that one of the reasons against against kingship in israel is that they will be subjected to what to forced labor so it came into pass when solomon used forced labor hereditary leadership will lead to oppression that is inheriting of leadership would lead or would result to oppression and this came to pass when Rehoboam who was Solomon's son promised to double the burden on the people imposed by his father leading to sickism so Rehoboam promised to double the burden of the people Another uh, reason against kingship was that they will lose their identity as covenant people. So during the reign of Zedekiah, Israel was taken to exile. So that means during the reign of Zedekiah when they were taken to exile, they 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 ceased to be the covenant what people. Another uh, reason against kingship is that they were overtaxed. So King Solomon overtaxed his people to meet the expenditure of his royal palace. Also as indicated by Samuel in his reasons against kingship in Israel kings would grab their land and make it their own so that's why Hahab killed who? Naboth and grabbed his vineyard that is how it was fulfilled question 3b outline seven activities of king david in his life that encouraged the worship of Yahweh in Israel. So here basically when you talk about the actions, you're being asked the actions that promoted worship of Yahweh in Israel, right? And most of them are what? Are su the successes of who? David. That is what basically you're being asked here. So an activity is an action. He brought the Ark of the Covenant into Jerusalem. And this, remember, signified God's presence among the people. He practically praised God. Or rather, you can just say he danced for God. He sang and danced for the God. <laughs> he constantly prayed to God. And this is the same point as he, he, he sought God's guidance. Or he gave thanks to God. He composed the psalms used in the worship of Yahweh. He also shepherded Israel to worship God. That is, he made the Israelites to keep God's commandments.
He respected the prophets of Yahweh. Or rather, you can just say he listened to the advice of the prophets of Yahweh. He humbled himself before Yahweh, and this we know that he humbled himself because he called himself a servant of Yahweh. Yet remember, he was a king. So that is, he showed that humbleness. And lastly, he respected, sorry, he repented every time he made a mistake. That is, he asked Yahweh for forgiveness. Question 3C. Give ways in which Christians demonstrate God's guidance in their life. How can we know that you are guided by what? By God in your life. Yes. Asking for forgiveness. Or rather just by repenting. Praying or thanksgiving. Acting as a peacemaker or a reconciler. Working for the well-being and the development of the community. Caring for the environment. Caring for the environment. <coughs> you write and compose Christian literature, or rather you can just say composing Christian songs. Always don't say you compose songs. They must be Christians because there are very many secular songs. Preaching the gospel. Or rather, you teach the gospel. Offering talents for the work of the church. Or rather, you can just say building, worshipping places. Caring for the sick or the old or the disabled, you care for them. That's how Christians demonstrate God's guidance.